Welcome back. Ellen Ochoa became the first Latina to go to space when she served on a nine-day mission aboard the shuttle Discovery back in 1993. She has flown in space four times, logging nearly 1,000 hours on missions, and she helped assemble the International Space Station. With a career that spans 30 years at NASA, she is a trailblazer amongst the stars, and now she's making it her mission to empower and educate our children with a book that combines her love of reading, science, and engineering. It is my great pleasure to welcome Ellen to Inside South Florida. Thank you. Glad to be with you. It's an honor to have you on the show. First of all, happy Hispanic Heritage Month. And uh, I have to start by asking the million dollar question. How magnificent is space? <laughs> it's, uh, it's spectacular. Yeah, I have just uh, amazing memories of, of course, looking at the Earth from space and, and just trying to work in an environment where, you know, I'm floating, everything I'm working with is floating. It's quite different. Yeah, you are part of, of an an elite group of people to have that experience. Your life has such a unique affirmation, being the first Latina ever in space. And there are six institutions of learning named after you, in addition to be, being inducted into several Hall of Fames, of course, including the Astronaut Hall of Fame. When you hear all that, Ellen, when you take all that in, what does that elicit within yourself? Well, first of all, it's never something I could not have imagined when I was much younger. So uh, I, I couldn't be more fortunate or grateful for all of that. But of course, my experiences with NASA have kind of led to the ability to um, do a lot of outreach. Um, you know, spoke at many, many schools when I was at NASA, I continue to do outreach. And uh, that's been an important part of what I've been able to contribute and, and another rewarding part of being with NASA. You presently, as the incredible human that you are, have probably had to overcome a lot. What were those obstacles to get to where you are today? Well, um, first of all, I think it's uh, the odds are low for anyone to be selected as an astronaut. So- Very true. <laughs> just putting that out there. Um, but certainly when I first started thinking about going into science and engineering, um, there weren't very many women at all, um, you know, almost no Latinas. I mean, certainly none that I saw, you know, through my um, school years or early in my career. And so, um, you know, sometimes there were people that actively discouraged me um, or just you know, it's one of those things where you have to keep proving yourself, right? You don't get the benefit of the doubt. But I also always had supporters um, and mentors and, and people who did really uh, provide um, advice and support for me. So that was really helpful. Now you've turned to literature and educating um, our yes. youth with your children's book. We are all scientists, todos somos scientificos. Why a book? Well, you know, to be honest, it wasn't something that I was originally thinking about. Um, but the publishers, Little Libros, um, they specifically focus on bilingual children's books, and they've published about 60 books now. And uh, But they realized they didn't really have anything in the science or engineering areas, or very little. And so they approached me about doing a series of five books, you know, one for each of the letters of STEAM, I think People are kind of familiar with that, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. And so the first one is now published, the one on uh, science. And it really gave me an opportunity to think about what do I wish I had known about science and scientists when I was little. During this Hispanic Heritage Month, what are your hopes for the community? Well, I hope they realize that there's a lot of opportunities and also that we need we need people. We need, um, you know, people of Latinx background, along with other folks to go into these fields. Um, science and engineering needs to be better represented. And there are so many um, both careers and job opportunities that somehow use science and engineering or technology skills that didn't used to. We really need to bolster our workforce, and that means getting people involved that traditionally have not been very involved. I really don't, can't say anything else. You're incredible. I'm talking to an actual astronaut, and we are so fortunate for you. Thank you for your time today on Inside South Florida, and please pick up her book, We Are All Scientists, wherever books are sold. Ellen, all the best. Thank you so much, Jason.